happy birthday, Leah's. Leah's, 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 happy birthday. All right, my Leah's. So this birthday reading is from um the it's from the 17th. All right, the 17th on till the 23rd. So, Leah's, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, happy birthday to you, Leah's. The week is from the 17th until the 23rd. So, this is going to be a really wonderful year. I see you're in the center of your year. So, remember that this is um, reading is program for the Leah's that was born on the 17th. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Uh, it is a positive year. There's a lot of feminine energies. There's a lot of situation information that is going to be coming out. Um, there is a whole lot of changes. Um, there's a whole lot of issues with mother healing um, with mother. As we look at the center and um, we are going to do a general reading and then we look at the center so the person that was born on um, the 20th, 17, 18, 19, 20th, you are governing um, the year for each and every one around you. And when I said govern the world, um, that what is transpiring and is happening is that you're making the choices um, for the transition that is going to be transpiring. Remember that each and every um, um, day, uh, you're going to be working this whole series. So the people who are born on the 20th, you're going to start work here. Then you have issues, secrets coming out. Then you have uh, information coming out. Then you have, and then you're going to be coming back and working. So um, this is seven month period, but you're going to be creating and working out uh, the aspect as you go. So, um, so you have uh, the month of... Uh, um uh september october november december january february march april may june july okay so if you notice you're going to be working out and having all of these issues that is transpiring it's like every month the cycle is going to be changing okay because this is programmed for the people who were born from the 17th until the 23rd so let's go in and look at what is happening and what is transpiring we are going to be looking at each individual um each individual we're going to be looking at and making sure um that each individual are aligned with the energies so when we look at the people who were born on the 17th we have some issues information that is going to be coming out um in this uh, uh, zodiac here and i see that some of you are moving forward so it is a year of forward movement whatever is happening is a year of forward, of forward movement power of joy and trusting in the universe so judgment call is coming up something is going to be coming out and this could be having an effect relationships um friendships that sort of a thing um, some of you are dealing with some issues that is going to be surrounded by a whole lot of emotional. Some bittersweet emotional could have effect with kids or you want to um, get pregnant. Something that has to do with kids. Um, that is uh, some of you could be fighting, trying to get pregnant or that sort of a thing. But for some of you, I see this issue could be a family issue or um, both family and friends issue that is created because it has to do with love so whatever is happening and transpiring for the people who are born on the 17th it is going to be some sort of a emotional situation that has to do with love so it can family and friends so it's a year of situation that is going to be affecting family and friends so be aware of this then we are looking at the people who were born on the um, 18, um, you are bringing balance to a situation that was created in your world and it has to do with a family situation. And I see you guys standing ground and resolving the situation. They are finding out the truth and the deceptiveness 
um because these are untruth um these are deceptiveness seven of swords is always the energy of deceptiveness that has happened and has transpired and i see some of you are trying to bring balance uh, to this deceptiveness that was created in the family and trying to bring a stability and bring back stability in your world so whatever is transpiring um for the people who are born on the 18th what we're seeing is that you need to realize here that it's a year of bringing back balance in your world in your life whatever that was happening ups and downs whatever the issues the situation is bringing back balance um because there was some form of deceptiveness that was created where you have to um heal a family situation that was created around you okay so it is going to have to do with finding out some false play and uh, um some family issues so it's about finding out false play it can be at the workplace with people um and bringing a balance to that and for you know, some false play with a family what has happened and what has transpired so be aware of this so, so um you have seven and ten you have seven zero one and ten now use these numbers because this is a um, you have the number of 14 and 14 is 5. So transition is definitely coming up in your life. Then you have the energy of 7. 7 is about you finding out something and resolving whatever that was going on. 10 is all about the family, but it is also about all the soul. Listen to your intuition and trust in your intuition. What is happening? What is transpiring around you? So use this number. So you have 14. Five, seven, ten, zero, one. So remember, use these number. Um, appointment, make appointment, buy the scratcher, you name it. Okay. We're moving on to the people who were born on the 19th. You're dealing and um you're using the uh, the energy of the emperor, the energy of the emperor, people in power is going to be coming in in order to resolve some sort of a situation. And I see that people are using their powers in good or bad ways. However, this is happening and transpiring the energy of the powers that some of you men could be creating your own world, your own business. Um, people could be start thinking about creating their own business in this timeline. Um, so I see um, this um, year is going to affect uh, a lot of people, but it's as if you're taking your power back. And I see some of you could be also having some form of a conflict. Some of you could be standing your ground against uh, um, the masculine energy of the masculine energy is going to be creating more wealth in their world and working much more harder. I see the passion is going to be coming back in the lives of uh, you people who were born on the 19th. And this is very, very good. It's about passion. It's about creating your own passion creating your own stronghold and passion that is definitely going to be coming back so this is good so the energy of the emperor the emperor is uh, um a lot of you could be getting high position jobs also so be aware of that and i see help is going to be coming in for a lot of you the emperor is four then we have nine four and nine now four and nine when you had that up it is uh uh, 13 okay so um 13 is four which is uh, um, coming back that um some help from the uh spirit world is going to be coming in number four is the number of angels so be aware of that so it's a passionate year it's going to be a year of passion so congratulations to the people who were born on the 20th um this is wonderful this is good what is happening and transpiring is that you're standing in your own power. The energy of strength is the energy of the Leos. And I see some help is going to be coming in for you guys. Um, and I see your financial stability is going to be yield and you're going to be balancing out a whole lot of uh, financial issues that you had. So it's as if um, money um, changes in your financial wealth and stability is going to be coming in this is going to be absolutely positive um for a lot of you and the six of pentacles is a positive energy because the energy of the six of pentacles it is letting you know that health is going to be coming in i see a lot of you are protecting yourself protecting yourself because you're finding out 
some information that you were not aware of and you're protecting yourself. I see some of you could be getting some sort of a um, promotion, higher promotion, um, management promotion is going to be coming up for some of you. Some of you who had a management position, there could be some issues that is going to be affecting you and you're going to be having some regrets. So um, um, if you have a boss that is a Taurus, be aware of this boss because I see that this boss could throw down on you. Some of you are going to be finding out some information, um, especially you older men is going to be finding out some information and some of you older men um, could be trying to balance out some sort of an issue. You older men, there is some issue with your financial stability, which you're going to be trying to balance out and you're going to be protecting your materialistic wealth. And I see you're going to be finding out some sort of an information that is going to be coming out. And that is going to be creating some sort of emotional stability for you. So this is good. So in the center, it is about financial help is going to be coming in for you guys. So congratulations. So you have eight, which is infinity wealth in uh, the infinity. Um, once you um, is born on this um, day you're going to be if you notice your materialistic wealth is going to be ill in this time period so this is going to be good so you have eight six and two uh six and two is eight so uh, expect some unexpected money is going to be coming in in this year for you so that is good so we're moving on um to the people who are born on the 21st it is going to be a year where unexpected information is going to be coming out information about some money is going to be coming out that you were not aware of um it's as if whatever this unexpected information is about money some of you are going to be having some regrets because it has to do with a cancer whoever this cancer is um you're going to be finding out something about a cancer and a scorpion that created some sort of a deceptive um uh, association that you had to deal with where it, they could have uh, um, create a lot of uh, financial issue or loss for you and I see that this is going to be uh, coming out and people are going to be finding out what is what has happened and what has transpired so I see um, some of you are going to be dealing with um, secrecy about money you're going to be heartbroken because you're going to be finding out that a, a scorpion um has done something that you have to balance out this issue some problems it could be with your kids but it's emotional problems what you need to balance out i see a lot of you are going to be standing your grounds and they're going to be showing up a libran and a aquarius for what they have done so light is going to be shed on a libran and aquarius um, um on what they've done um, I see heartbreaks because of a whole lot of conflicts, heartbreaks, a whole lot of conflicts is going to be happening. So um, be aware and align yourself with the energies. So, so you're having to do with secrecy, the moon. Um, then you have four and five. Um, you have you're definitely going to be having some emotional regrets. Um, some of you are dealing with a Capricorn and. Um, some secrets about a Capricorn and a whole lot of money and I see that you're going to be regretting something and it has to do with a Capricorn because some some secrets you kept from a Capricorn and a whole lot of money and I see you're going to be having some regrets so so, um, so you guys have 18 18 um, breakdown is 9 4 and 5 is 9 so you have a double energy where a cycle is going to be ending so you guys that is working on this shift i see a cycle is going to be over your end number is 99 9 plus 9 is 18 go back is 9 so a cycle is going to be ending in this um year for you guys so be aware of that so we are moving on on the, the people who are born on the 22nd um um your energy is uh, you are going to be shedding the light on something that was not that you were not aware of and i see heartbreaks is going to be coming up because you're going to be finding out something so um whatever is happening and is transpiring 
um, it has to do with money and a lot of um, uh, situation that you were not aware of and it has to do with money um, it has to do with your financial stability so light is going to be shed on something and you're going to be very heartbroken because you were not aware of some false act and some play with money and truths are going to be coming out about your materialistic wealth and what a scorpion has done um, and a scorpion and a Leo has done and truths are going to be coming out. So what we see is that there's something about your financial stability that information is going to be coming out about and they're going to be finding out or you could be finding out something. Some of you, your mom is going to be alerting you about something that you are not aware of. And whatever it is, a whole lot of you, um, the mind boggling um, that you have been going through is going to come to an end. So be aware of this and um, be balanced out because whatever is happening, whatever mind boggling situation is and was, uh, um, it's going to come to an end. And I see some emotional issues and some of you are going to be finding out some secret about a cancer or a scorpion in your life. And I see whatever the secrets is, I see some of you are going to be finding out some information about a cancer woman, whoever this cancer, this old cancer woman is, some form of information is going to be coming out. And I see people are going to be speaking up and speaking the truth. And I see some of you are going to be walking away from some issue and some situation and it's going to be broken heart heartbroken because you found out of some deceptiveness um that a libra and heartbreaks heartbreaks because you find out about some really uncomfortable things that you were not aware of and uh, th there's going to be a lot of heartbreak so wonderful positive uh, um coming through because you are going to be finding out things that you were not aware of so um, it is a year that you're going to be grateful for. So number three, heartbreaks. A lot of you are dealing with a Libra and an Aquarian. I see light is being shed on this Libra and an Aquarian. I see heartbreaks is going to be coming in for a lot of you. And um, um, worries. The worries is going to be over. Um, but heartbreaks is coming in. So you have nine, three, and five. Um, so use the energy in your, the best way you can. It's always these numbers. It's like if you're doing a scratch off, if you're buying a lot free, um, if you have appointment, if you want to put a date to invite people over, that sort of a thing. So three, five and nine work with them. We're moving on to the people who are born on the 23rd and the energy of the people who were born on the 23rd is that a lot of you are going to be finding this maternity feelings around you, whatever is transpiring, whatever is happening, this maternity sort of a feelings around you, um, where there's a whole lot of communication that is coming at you. And uh, um, some of you are going to be connecting with your mom, your grandmother um, in the living, and they are going to be telling you things that you were not aware of. I see some of you turning your back and walking away. I um, And there is some sort of an emotional situation because some of you are going to be finding out something of what has transpired. And it has to do with a grandmother. Um, so you're, you're receiving this maternity energies. But I see a lot of you, something about a grandmother, a grandfather, that is going to be telling you something that is going to be letting you walk away. Some information is going to be coming out where I see the energy of the moon um, is bringing in some sort of information. So again, you guys are also dealing with um, financial stability and finding out the truth about some money. However, this is happening in transpiring. A lot of you um, were mind boggling and worried and have regrets, but some sort of information is going to be coming out and people are going to be finding out something about your mom or your grandmother or something but i see some of you at the end of this period is moving on and it's going to be affecting the young people between the age of 18 and 40 so be aware so power of joy is for the people from the 17 until the 20th and trust is for the people from the 20th until the 23rd um be aware and align for the people on the 23rd, you have three, 
um, you have nine, um, the worries is going to be over, but you're going to be walking away and turning your backs and walking away. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, the worries is definitely going to be over, but you're going to be turning your backs and walk away from an issue and a situation. So be aware. I absolutely love you guys. Thank you for being here. Enjoy your um, year. It is good to ask for a year reading. These are just general readings. Um, and it's good to ask for a year reading in order to see what is coming up for you. I love you guys. Gotta go. Namaste.